Hey everyone, this is Duke at Developer Inspires here. Welcome back to Daily Challenge. This Daily Challenge, we're going to learn about UI Semantic Control. With this Semantic Control, you will have a very, very elegant, simple, efficient control that allows you kind of like separate your UI into different sections. So that's why it's called Semantic Control. So you can select in these and then you have you can have a text in this uh, control or you can have a picture with the control okay so let's go back to our project and do all of these this is the starter project for this and as always you can go back download the starter project by going to developerinspirus.io right there okay all right so now I want to show you what is the start, starter project test. It has a label like that. And let's go back to view controller. We have the um, IB outlets for this and some commented I want to show you. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I will have a segmented control variable in our view controller. So I would do var segmented control, which is UI segmented control. Okay. Uh, ungrab like that. All right. And then in the view did load, I will have an, uh, I will initialize this semantic control by uh, using the constructor UI semantic control. Let's do this segmented control equals UI segmented control. And for this, I will pass in an array of items. What is what are those items? Well, you guess it. These items are those labels, those names or images. Okay. So let's first we'll have an array of string. So we do let's items equals. So I have an array, and with this array we have let's say Apple, Google, and have a string. Google, and then we have Facebook. Okay, all right, and then we just all we need to do is pass these with into this, okay, and then I would do center this. I would do segmented control dot center equals cg point make, okay, and then the x I want it to be. Uh, centered in the X position, so we do view dot center dot X, and the Y, the Y I want to do view dot center dot Y, but I want to move it down two hundred points. So there we go, and then what will happen when we do view dot add sub view, and then we do segmented control. Okay, and then I will run this. Okay, and you will see that we have these segmented control. You see that we can click on those, and iOS do all the animations for us. It has, uh, it does the kind of like, um, filled in all the space here, so that, um, the user can has a very sense of navigation throughout your app. And the nice things about this is you can place it almost anywhere, and you can place it into a navigation bar, into um, the uh, top, the bo button, bottom bar like that, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's say, what is the point of having a control without having any target action, right? So we will add a target action so that whenever the user tap on those, we know that the user taps on those. So I would do segmented control dot add target. And for this as target, I would do it to target itself. The action is segmented control change. Okay. And then this one, I would do dot value change. Okay. Just that simple. And then with the mark of target action, I would do funk segmented segmented control change. And the sender is UI segmented control. And then in here, we go do our code. Okay. So what is special thing about this semantic control? If you go back to the documentation of this, you can see that the semantic control, 
inherits from UI control and UI control inherits from UI view, right? And for this, it has the number of segments. It has the remove own segments, it has insert segments with image. We have the set title. We have all these kinds of crazy thing. And what we want to concern about is the selected segment index. Okay. Then I would do this. That selected selected index equals sender dot selected segment index. And then maybe I want to print line this selected index to make sure that it is the index that I want to send. What did I what should I do? To? All right. Okay. Okay. And then what else? I want let's say if the le if let selected segment segment equals sender okay then maybe sender dot title for segment at index so I will have the title of this segment okay so with this sender I have the title for segmented at index so I will pass in the index of this the selected index selected index and then inside here I can use this selected index segment okay so I would do title I'm sorry I will change the text title the segment text label over here which is this label so we can have a sense of a visual sense uh, that it changes okay so we do segment text label dot text equals segmented selected segment and it is a string right a string now let's run this one all right so I would do Apple you see how it changes and indeed the index is zero it is indexed as an array so Google Facebook and actually it is implemented as an array okay and this is okay the last thing I want to show you in this is that we can not only have text inside this control because it is a UI control. It has it can you can put into it an image, okay? And in the project, I have the images assets, which is an Apple icon, okay? And let's use that. So for inst instead of having an uh, array of items with full of text, let's say I want to show you that we can do let items with image and I will change just the Apple icons so that you can see that we can both have the icons we can both have the text but because if you look at this the the array in Swift is typed strong meaning that it very strongly typed meaning that you have to explicit, explicitly tell the compiler what is the type of this um, of this array and indeed it is an array of string but we want it to have both the string and maybe an image so what is the way to go around this well what we use is an ns array an ns array is just an array um, very much like array in Swift but it is an objective C and it is bridge to Swift it's very efficient Spe the special thing about this is that it is not strongly typed this is not strongly typed meaning that you can put whether an image a dictionary a text a label everything inside this NS array in in this case in in this very special case it is beneficial to us but in most of the other cases it is not very safe because you can put anything in this so it is not safe like that okay and this one the ns array has an uh objects in it with object initializer and we will have to pass in some object and with this, we will do Google and then UI image named and then we have Apple icon. Okay, and then I had to ungrab it because it is UI image optional and we have Facebook. Okay, 
and you see that we can list on and on and on with this object okay so now over here i would do um Segmented control, UI segmented control, items, and instead of items, I would do items with image. But because this item it accepts an array of any object, any object is a uh, generic type in Swift, so we have to cast it as any object, an array of any object. Okay, and because this is an S array, it doesn't conform to any object so we have to cast it as any object okay so let's run this one all right do you see that we have these these um this image right it looks incredibly nice and the the special thing about this is you have to have the image small enough i think it is 32 yeah it is 32 points pixels so maybe you consider to have very type a uh, very small image and also or vector okay the great thing is vector and it should be black yeah and then maybe you you think when we click into apple um the text doesn't change because it is an image it doesn't have the text so we can test it by going to the console and when i select this this is two and I select this, it should be one. And there you go. And then maybe when it is one, you want to change the UI, things like that in your, uh, in your project, okay? I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below, and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirers.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products, and contribute to the world.